Right guys, so we've actually had round one now at Winter League and my videos seem to go down quite well to be honest. There's a lot of interest in how I prep leading up to the league and then from there obviously I'll do little bits of prep in between but that's the main bulk of the prep. So I thought while we're on sort of prep I'll run you through what I do bait wise. So I'm actually off on a midweek open tomorrow, got a day off work, right looking forward to it. Obviously great weight still but I thought I'd give you a little bit of an insight so I sort of my bait out the day before generally just because then I know it's all sorted plus you don't get loads of time to set up normally I have to kick Adam out and get him on way and it's just a good routine to get into to be honest so I'm going to run you through ground bait, maggots, pellets, how I prepare them all, when I use them and why I use them so we'll start with this so this is actually my maggots obviously quite a big tub but when I put them in the fridge last thing you want is to overcrowd them or get up the night before put them in a tub so I've been out and bought a couple of pints of fresh if I were to put them in a tub they could sweat. I know it's very unlikely, but sometimes I'll save my maggots from one week to the next in the fridge. And if they're in a, a two pint bait tub, I've had it before where they just start sweating and they get full of ammonia, and I don't really like them to be honest. So, what I do is I transfer all my maggots into one of these big tubs. So, I've got a couple of these that both sit in the fridge side by side. These are maggots that I used at the weekend, and like I say, I've just topped up with a, a couple of pints of fresh. You can sometimes go through like four or five pints of maggots other times depending on how you're catching you won't use as many so as you can see i've still got these are from mine and adam's to be honest so i've still got three pints here so i've just topped up with another two pints if i use all them i've had a fantastic day and there's no need to worry about it so what i'll do now is i'll transfer them into one of one of these to get them in the fridge that's maggots sorted get them out in the morning bring them with me job done moving on from that so i like to prepare a few pellets especially like you don't need many i use one of these little tubs and that that'll see me through i've never run out of pellets but it's one of them venues where it's nice to have a few in these odd skimmer in there and if you're fishing on bottom you've got to give yourself a chance so these are actually oaks lakes fishery pellets so it's fishery, fishery pellets only and bought a bag of these last year and as you can see still got plenty left to go at i might have to buy a bag at the end of this year we'll see how i get on <laughs> but what i do with them is just put them into my little tub add water to them so the level literally just over level you want these nice and soft put them in just so it's covered like that and then they'll go in the fridge overnight and I'll pull them out in the morning that's that one done obviously they'll go in the fridge pull them out in the morning and then we're ready to go. So just going back to pellets, as I say, I do them the night before. I just want them to get right nice and soft. And I don't actually fish pellets on the hook. I might take a few with me depending on the time of year. Like it's a bit warm now, so I might take a handful of four millies with me. But the general idea is to put them in the ground bait. So they just sit there. And obviously I don't think the roach pick them up as much. And then when the skimmers move over, it gives them chance to move around and pick up the odd micro. So I don't actually fish pellets out and out, but it's always worth having odd one in your ground bait just so it sits there. So when it comes to expanders, I'm not going to bore you with this one, you've seen me do it plenty of times. 4mm Pro expanders, straight out of the packet. Into the tub, don't need many, like I say, I don't often fish them. Bit of water in, in the fridge, and that's it simple as that it's all dead simple but if you do it all the night before especially when it's colder with pellets they don't seem to absorb the water as fast so like your expanders might take a little bit longer usually you can do them on a the morning in summer for some reason but in winter it tends to take a bit longer same with your micro pellets if you do them on the bank in winter sometimes it takes a little bit longer to go as soft as i like them so i like to get it all done the night before then i know it's done and they're perfect for when i want to use them so now i'm going to move on to mixing my ground bait the fun part move all these out of the way so as you've probably seen f1 dark pro thatch is original there's no better mix out there for this time of year what i will say is i do alter it slightly so with it still being quite mild i will put two parts f1 to one part thatchers and then as it gets colder i'll like cut it down a little bit so i'll reduce the thatchers so i'll probably put three parts f1 to one part thatchers and then once like January comes and we get quite a lot of harsh frost I'll just cut the thatches out which is fish meal based all together and just put the dark F1 in which just gives a little bit of scent in the water and lays dormant on the bottom 
just for any little attraction. I don't think the fish generally want to eat that time of year. It's just the fact that they can smell something, so they come and investigate. So the way I do that is, so I've made one pint tub. I'll put two of these in. Just let me make me all a bit bigger, make it a bit easier. One. Two of them to one of these. That's it. Give that a good mix together. Then once I've done this tonight, I'll riddle it off, get it all sorted, and I'll just literally bag it up in a plastic bag. Put that in the fridge and get it out in the morning. Make sure it's all mixed in. Like that. So I actually do this in two parts. So I'll add a bit of water now, get it going. Then I usually do my maggots, I'll freeze my maggots, sort them out, put everything in the fridge, leave this 10 minutes because it soaks in quite a lot of water and then I'll come back to it and finish it off. As you can see it's going a nice bit darker, work that in, still needs a bit of water yet. Just take your time, you can always add a bit more water but you can't take it out once it's in. And don't worry too much if you think you've killed it, then it always comes back. It takes more water than what you think. So leave that there, sort my maggots out and we'll come back to it. Right, so done as ground bait. While that's sat there absorbing all the moisture, we'll move on to maggots. So just a normal plastic bag, got a little cup and I'll literally put a couple of scoops in. And that's more than enough for what I need and literally I'll take all air out of them, tie them down and throw them in the freezer. So we're using dead maggots rather than live ones because we want to add them to his ground bait, put his ball in or a bit of loose ground bait, whatever we want to use on day and they'll actually just sit there on bottom so that live ones have a tendency they could wriggle away or move or even attract other fish falling through water. We want these laid dead and inert with his little micro pellets on the bottom for any roach, skimmers or anything that wants to come across and eat them. They will actually last a couple of weeks. I won't use them any longer than after a couple of weeks. I just like to do a day or two before to make sure they're definitely dead, stay nice and juicy. If you leave them in there too long, they will actually go dark and black and just not be very nice to use, to be honest. So go get these in the freezer, leave them in there and we'll come back and finish ground bit off. Last but not least, what we've got to do now is riddle off the ground bit. So I literally, Throw it onto the riddle and riddle it through. So I know obviously we've got to buy two bags of ground bait to do this and it can be quite expensive but we don't need that much really. If you think I'm taking three pints and that's probably more than enough for this time of year. Let's give it a riddle. Push it through but as it gets colder you don't actually have to take as much ground bait so although you've got two bags to buy initially they'll last you as much as long as having two bags of ground bait in general so what I do is I'll riddle it through as you see nice fine mix throw that in a carrier bag and that's job done so that's ground bait done bait done all the way fridges and freezers hope you've enjoyed the video and it just gives you a little insight until what I do to prepare my bait for a match obviously this is silverfish fishing it differs slightly depending on what sort of fishing you're doing Hope you've enjoyed it. Like, subscribe and comment if you want to see anything different. And thanks for watching. See you later, guys.